Waste in many places is often disposed of carelessly without a proper process of disposal. All types of waste from organic to chemical to industrial are always compiled in one place, which often pollutes the environment by creating a heavy landfill. But this waste can all be recycled through composting, which is a biological process where the organic waste is broken down into a different substance, creating compost. The process starts by digging a pitch of about 3 meters, where one aligns all the matter, starting with the maize store layers and then adding another matter on top, like banana peelings. But all these have to be separated by ash in between as they are laid down. The decaying of these materials is done by uh, microorganisms, bacteria, uh, fungi, they are the ones which, and they need water to, to carry out that uh, process. Oxygen too, which is a huge component, has to be part of the process and this is added by turning the heaps of waste in the ditch every after two weeks. But the heap must be maintained at about a meter above the ground and should be covered mainly with something that will allow the aeration process like banana leaves. Three pits have to be dug which allow the compost to mature at different stages and times. Two weeks in the first pit, another two weeks in the second pit, another two weeks in the third pit. That's about six weeks. Uh, after those six weeks, you can now go and uh, remove your uh, compost from the third pit. This is referred to as aerobic composting and is not prone to smell. But it is believed that the best materials to compost are plant stains because they make the best nutrients. This is because when plants are growing, they suck a lot of nutrients out of the soil, which they keep within them as they grow. When you harvest your crop, some of the nutrients will remain in the stove. So when you get that material and you put it into a pit and you decompose it, you make it rot, then those nutrients are now released. They are made much more easily available to the next crop so that if you now take that compost and go and put it, say, under a, a coffee plant or a banana plant, plant, then that plant is able to get that material much more faster. Urine to both human and animal is good for compost and has a high percentage of urea, which is a strong nitrogen booster. This is mixed with ash and stirred before it is kept for six weeks. Well, however, it has to be diluted before being applied in the garden because of its high uric acid content. You dilute it to stop the crop from, uh, the, the urine from burning the crop. If you apply it directly on the crop, uh, it may burn the crop. And... However, the process of composting is high maintenance and time consuming, and that's why most farmers shun it. Compost can be applied to every kind of soil type and does well as a nutrient additive. But it has to be mixed with the soil and not laid on top of the tilled land as it could be washed away. The nutrients from humus often last two to three years in the ground as opposed to artificial fertilizers that last four months and have to be reapplied every now and then. The other type of composting is cover cropping in the garden where once the harvest is done the dry crops can be left in the garden and then covered with soil before the next planting. The only problem is that this kind of compost has a low level of nutrients because it doesn't decompose fully and will only benefit legumes because of the nitrogen support. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk.